All right, guys, we're back with round three Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Bob on the left playing Amaryllis and Jordan on the right playing Quick Draw. So first time for Jordan on the channel. Uh, he's kind of new to Edison. I think he showed up to the local because he found uh, our store thanks to the to my YouTube channel. So, yeah, let's see how he does. First appearance. So, Bob, they both set two monsters and pass. And Bob's a regular on the channel. He's usually playing Amaryllis or Quick Draw or some spicy deck. Okay, so Bob MSTs uh, Jordan's Wing Blast. We tributes both for... Oh, I thought he was going to drop a laugh. <laughs> so he tributed Botanical Lion and Debris Dragon for Titanial. And then Bob negates the Ryko with Titanial. All right, let's see. So Bob passes... My God, where did Bob get this mat? It's a nice looking mat. You say? I, rem I remember that regional mat from 2011. Okay. So Jordan sets a monster and flips hamster. What's he going to get? Ryko, obviously. There's nothing else he can get. I don't know. There are some other beasts you could play, I guess. Because he gets Ryko. Tax Bob for 11. Shout out to Jordan for keep keeping track of light points so I don't have to. It's always better if they do it because sometimes some people don't attack because they're playing around gores and stuff. I don't I don't think I've this is not a matchup that I've featured often on the channel. I think the only time I remember seeing this matchup was when Lowe's played against Donnell. But Amaril for those of you guys, Amaril has been doing well recently. It got second place in like at the RBET online RBET like last week. And it got second at the Ultimate Time Wizard Tournament and YCS Raleigh, so yeah. This is a deck that you got to be prepared for. I think that a few have been topping recently. I've always said, I've always been a fan of this deck. I've never played it myself, but I think it's a, it's a decent deck. Quick draw, on the other hand, it's just the Pot of Avarice deck. <laughs> That's just, but it, it's also a, a solid deck as well. Okay, so let's see. He attacked into Dandy after Mark of the Rosing, the, the Hamster. DDR from Bob, pitch Amaryllis to bring back Titanial. <laughs> he gives him back the hamster and brings out Amaryllis. So what's life point? 69 AK. Yeah, Jordan's new, so I don't know how familiar he is with Edison. I've only played against him once, and I could tell, but this was in Tengu format, and I could tell he was re really new to the format. So maybe he's a little more experienced in Edison. Okay, Bob changed Dust Shoot to the Call of the Haunted. So he chooses the Sang End. So Jordan's hand is Bottomless, Crow, and Heavy Storm. That's interesting. A main deck Crow. It's not bad in Quick Draw because you can like get it back with uh, Drill Warrior if you really need it. So Heavy Bottomless. So if he heavies here, he'll get rid of the Titanial. Yeah, he'll get rid of the Titanial and the... Uh... Oh, I don't think he can get the tokens, right? Yeah, I don't think he can. He has to be able to get two. I guess that's what they're arguing. Yeah. Okay, good, good. But this, that heavy was ridiculous. You got rid of Titanial and the Mark of the Rose from stealing a monster. Bob's level what? One card? Yeah, this game is not looking good for Bob. I don't see how he gets out of it. He hasn't done a ton of damage, so... I think, like, the only way Bob wins is if, like, Jordan is forced to solve him something, and then he gets him really low. People have told me when they play against Amarillos, they tend to side out um, Solemn Judgment because you're just giving them half your life, which I, I, I agree. I need to start doing that. The only way I'd keep Solemn in against Amarillos is if you need, like, really need to protect the Floodgate. I can't think of it. Which Floodgate would you want to protect? Maybe like a Defissure or something? Okay. So the good news for Bob is, and there's a the Crow, is that Jordan milled Pot of Avarice. Okay, so we know Bob's got Lone Fire in his hand. Ooh, Bob's actually fighting back. This is crazy. Jordan needs a pot of Avarice. It looked like Bob was in trouble, but now he's got a Lone Fire play so he can get a second Titanial. Or I think he has a Titanial in his hand. Maybe he drew the last Titanial. Again, I don't know if Bob's playing two or three Titanial. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. So Jordan attacks. Oh, he set he set the lone fire. Why? <laughs> I 
Oh, he knows Jordan has bottomless. I'm sorry, I forgot. Yes, he that this is why Bob did this play. Oh, now he's getting Caius. Should Bob have just should Bob have just uh walked into the bottomless? I think it didn't matter. Bob's is it's not looking good now, especially now that Jordan dropped the Caius. And Jordan is checking his grave. Did he draw Pot of Avarice? What did he draw? Foolish, maybe? Jordan attacks. The Ryko targets Caius. Mills Trooper call and Ryko. Yeah, I wonder what card Jordan drew because he, he went to check his grave. Oh, he drew another Caius. Pokes for 11, so now we're at 47 to 69. Will he drop the Caius or keep it in his hand? Okay, so he chooses to keep it in his hand. Now Bob's got three cards in hand. 47, 69. Does Bob play return in this deck? It, it might not be that bad. I mean, he could just flat out win you the game. Now I see why Donnell was playing it. I, I always made fun of him for running return, but yeah, I can. It, it can be really good. Okay, so Bob, I've heard some people are cutting Hidden Armory. Okay, so yeah, that's what I, so he drew one of the Titanials, now Hidden Armory, Mills. <laughs> what a mill. <laughs> Just mill dandy off of Hidden Armory. <laughs> then, oh, oh, did he draw, oh, he had all his uh, Titanials. Okay. That's what I thought happened. So Bob drew all three Titanials. <laughs> But this is great. Now, uh, Jordan, if he tributes for Caius, he can negate it when by tributing one of the tokens. And we know Heavy Storm's gone, so he can't Heavy Storm the DDR. I can't believe Bob fought back this game. It, it looked like Jordan was way, way ahead. Okay, so he tributes his last token for Caius, targets the... Titanial, and he's going to negate. Oh, Jordan has his own Titanial. Is, this, is that Torrential? He's got one trap card in his hand, but I don't know what it is. And he's got a spell. Okay. What trap card was it? Bob, or Jordan has Ryko, and he's reading Titanial. Again, like I said, Jordan's still new. I mean, he has Titanium in his hand, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he could have. But you don't want to give him. You don't want to give your opponent information like read your own Titanium on hand. <laughs> that was actually good by Jordan because I've done that before in the past. Like there'll be a card on the field, and I'll read, and it will be in my hand, and I'll read the one in my hand. <laughs> okay, so Jordan has Ryko, a back row, and two tokens. Let's see what Bob does. Still got one token left. See, this is why you don't play ulti titanials. You draw them too much. Play the the one that Jordan's using. Or use commons. I don't know. I played one titanium in my hero frog deck, and I drew it like every game. So Bob negates. Oh, now, now Jordan milled gores, so we don't have to worry about gores anymore. Lila. Oh, he did have torrential. Okay, that might that might put Jordan back in the game. He drew D prison. So they're both top decking. Nice draw by what a draw by Bob. Tight uh trade in for Amaryllis. And Jordan's at twenty four hundred. Okay, this is good. This is good for I I think Bob should be okay. And he just drew Lone Fire. But what can you get with Lone Fire? I think everything is gone. I think his dandies are gone. What what else does he have left? Okay. He must have another dandy. That's like the only thing he could have left. Or oh, this thing, Lord Poison. Okay, I didn't know he played that. Bob, some of that in attack mode, man. No. Oh, gosh. I guess he wants to bring something back with Lord Poison. Okay, that's. I think that's why he brought it. No, Bob was going for game. Never mind. He should have just swung with both, I think. But maybe he doesn't want his Lord Poison to get Mirror Forced. But there's more D-Prisons compared to Mirror Force, right? So 
let's say he attacks with he attacks with the uh, Amaryllis, then he'll go down to sixteen hundred. All right, so Jordan, what's he gonna go for here? Black Rose. Now will he use the effect to blow up? And he does to get rid of uh, Bob's Torrential and Lord Poison. This has been a good game. This has been a really, really back and forth game. What's crazy is Bob's games usually, and I don't know what it is. Bob just always has some grindy games. I think it's because the decks he plays. Like I remember him and, and and Ryan played in the Tengu matchup, and it was crazy. They both top decked, and then it came down to Bob top decking Dark Hole. Okay, so he tribute summons for Quick Draw makes probably Jewel Warrior. So he attacks Bob directly for twelve. Well, he used so he keeps Jewel Warrior on the field. Doesn't he use the effect. All right, thirty-five or twenty-four. What Bob needs to do is steal that Drill Warrior. <laughs> See, if... Yeah, I think... The only thing I didn't like was if Bob probably maybe should have attacked with the Lord Poison. But I, I'm guessing he was scared of Mirror Force. Okay, that's not bad. Tribute Summon for Amaryllis, and then he discards Titanial to put the Amaryllis back. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow, that's great. He charged Mills the Amaryllis and Necro Gardener. Okay, vanishes. Get Amaryllis. He's got Lila. Oh, but what a Ah oh, man. It was this was bound to happen. Uh, you can see how slim Jordan's deck is. It was only a matter of time before he drew one of his avarices. Maybe he's playing two, maybe he's playing three, who knows? Maybe Jordan can answer. I know Jordan used to watch. I don't know if he still does. But I'm pretty sure he might come and watch. Everyone always watches their own duels. That's what I've noticed. <laughs> Some people, they're like, okay, I, I'm at least going to watch my own my own duel. <laughs> Speaking of Drew Warrior, this man got Junk Archer and uh, Drew Warrior on his mat. I was actually playing at that time. Whenever this mat was out, I remember. Like, one of the first few regionals I went to, this map was available. All right, so the, he avarice into another avarice. Pretty good. Put the Titanio back, the Ryko back. Who am I rooting for? Uh, what, were the, what was the record of these two guys? I'm pretty sure they were X1. Yeah, because I think Jordan lost to... I can't remember who he lost to. But yeah... So winner, this was a top four tournament. So winner is no, actually it was top eight. Never mind. Yeah, no, it was top eight. So Jordan Driss discards trap dust shoot to banish the drill warrior. So yeah, no, we don't know. The winner is has a good chance to make top eight. Loser is still technically not out of it. All right. So Bob summons Lila. We know Torrential's gone. Pops the. Oh, he compulses the Amaryllis. Wow. Because Bob was going to kill him. He was going to switch the Amaryllis to attack mode, attack, and that, that would be game. All right, Bob Mills. Trade in, trade in, and Mirror Force. What does he grab back? He's got like a bunch of hamsters and Rikos in there. He could grab back Dandelion. I think that's the, the one to get back. Oh, he's going to try to deck him out. He might just, you could just leave the Lila up there, right? Just attack him directly. Maybe Bob will deck himself out. Yeah. Uh, just attack him directly for 12. I see you, Jordan. I see you. <laughs> so, yeah, pitch, banish, get two tokens, and just have Bob deck himself out. Potentially. Ooh, so he heavies his Mirror Force. What are, what's left? In, is, but does Bob have two cards? One's Amaryllis. Okay, so that saves him from decking out. So he can make Flame Bear Requizas. And he will take 21, right? Yeah, yeah, he'll take 21. Oh, wow. So now Bob's at three. Not Bob. Jordan's at 300. And Bob's got Amaryllis. 
So this game is probably going to end soon. Yeah. What are they arguing about? I guess they're arguing about the piercing damage. Yeah. Does Bob not? Does Bob have Amaryllis in there? Oh no, the Amaryllis is still in his hand. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, the Amaryllis is still in his hand. Let's see what Jordan can do. He needs to get. Well, I think he has debris dragons in his hand, so he can get the token off the field. Yeah, I, did, I think Bob's not looking good for Bob. It might end right now. Yeah, this is game right here, Bob. Well, Bob still has Necrogarna, but it's game no matter what. Yeah. All right, so Jordan, that was a good game. That they were, it was that was a back and forth. Both top decked it. Bob milling the the Necro, but congrats to Jordan taking game one. Let's see if he can pull game two. So it looks like he sided in um, pulling the rug. So his graveyard is Lone Fire. All right, so he's got. He's got Pulling the Rug, Car Trooper, and Amaryllis on the field. And someone just kicked the camera. <laughs> okay. Bob, you got Charge. So you choose to mill. I think Bob should charge for Lila, right? If I'm Bob, do I charge for Lila? Or maybe he side decked Aaron. I know he sided Aaron in the past. Okay, so he kills Dandy and kills one of the tokens. And then that dies, and Jordan takes 800. So Bob is not using charge. Okay, now he uses it. He knows MST, Lone Fire, Plague. I was thinking search Lila, yeah. I, you can use that next turn. He's trying to mill some plants. Man, this deck is nice. This deck, this Amarillo's deck, when it gets going, is, is really nice. Okay, did Jordan pass? Okay, Bob, end phase, Regeki breaks the Raikou. Because he had, he could have went for, no, I think that was, that was right. Because you still have Lila. Oh, no. Now, now Bob's field is clogged, so he can't summon Lila. What face down monster did he set? I don't think he set a Raikou. So he attacks the token, attacks for 22, activates call on Dandy. No, it's supposed to be in attack mode. Bob. No, Bob. <laughs> Come on, Bob. <laughs> he was supposed to take extra damage right there. Oh, no, they both missed it. So how much was he supposed to take right there? 19, 19 extra 100 damage. We'll see if it matters. 64, yeah, we'll see if the 19 matters. Gosh, Bob. How do you guys not see that, man? <laughs> okay, now, I hope it doesn't matter. Now he's got Titanial. So he's supposed to be at 43. Okay, so he attacks a token. Attacks a trooper. So Bob will take 24. All right, and he sets. Okay, so Jordan's got a pot of in his hand. Yeah. 24. So 56, 64. Bob's got crows. Oh, that crow's going to be... I think, and we know Bob's got pulling the rug back there. That's his his face down trap card. Lila, I think Bob looks good because he if if Jordan tries to make a power play with like Caius or debris, he has pulling the rug to stop it. He has DD Crow for his avarice. Now he goes for plague, flip Necro, so he can just out the yeah he can make a taster here to out the Titanial. And he's got Necro Garner. Look at Bob with Ulti Plague, Ulti Necro, Ulti Catastor. Oh, he pitched the Avarice. That's surprising. Maybe he's got another one in his hand. Or he's playing around Crow. It's possible. Okay, so here he takes 
seventeen, and then another eight hundred. Ooh, so he was supposed to be at two thousand right now. <laughs> I'm rooting for Bob because I can't believe they both missed it. <laughs> I hate when these things happen, but they do. Hey, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not innocent. The other day, I messed up the chain links with Torrential versus Caius and Dandy. And, yeah, it just it happens to everybody. Yeah, I I think I, like, Caius, or something happened. Someone got Caius. Caius is Dandy, or he changed around, something like that. He was supposed to have the tokens, and we both messed it up. All right, so Jordan's got, like, brain control. And two other cards in his hand. Let's see what Jordan does. Oh, he's got Caius too. So that rug is that that rug is gonna come in clutch. So Jordan brains the Amaryllis. And his last card is Avarice. Oh, this is looking good for Bob. I think his last card is Avarice. Yeah, it's Caius Avarice, which Bob's is gonna counter both of those. Come on, Bob. <laughs> So Bob text over saying it. I'm rooting for Bob. He's never got a win on the channel. He's the, he's gotten second once in Edison and once in Tengu. I'm trying. I'm rooting for him to get that first win. All right, he attacks over the token. And now he's gonna tribute for Caius, most likely. Oh no, that thing gets destroyed. That's right, it gets destroyed. So he doesn't use the Caius. Ryko rug. 31. Oh, he didn't use Amaryllis. Is he out of plants? Oh, Kaiku. What did Bob set? Because he can negate... the. If he activates Raiko, he can negate it. And you can't use Necrogarna because of Kaiku. Kaiku can be an annoying card at times. He probably should have hit with Titanial. Yeah, I should have hit with Titanial and then hit with Kaiku. Yeah, hit with Titanial, negate, and then hit with Kaiku and banish the Amaryllis. All right, let's see. Now Jordan's back in the game. Oh, he got rid of the Titanial? Oh, no. Jordan, what happened? Oh, but he drew another Avarice for his turn. Oh, my God. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure he just drew another Avarice. But Bob let it go through? What? I'm pretty sure Bob has Crow. I saw it when he was shuffling his hand. Oh, he must be reading. Maybe he thought he couldn't Crow because of Kaiku. Okay, so he set Alila. Okay, he drew Heavy. Yeah, he. I just saw the Crow. Unless if you can't Kai, let me let me read Kaiku. I gotta read Kaiku's effect. Can you not activate Crow while Kaiku's up? Oh, okay, I see now. I never I never knew that. Okay, you can't Crow while Kaiku. You can't Crow your opponent's graveyard either. I didn't know that. I I've never seen that in my life. You learn something new every day. I thought it only like prevented you from banishing your graveyard but you can't banish from your opponent's graveyard either that's that's crazy oh <laughs> bob showed the regeki break that's so unfortunate i thought bob was good i feel bad for not knowing that guys feel free to roast me in the comments <laughs> i just i've never seen it all my duels playing edison i've never seen that kaiku dd crow on avarice thing come up Ooh, Soul Release. A car that a lot of people, not a lot, but some people like and some people don't. So Bob could have chained Necro if he really wanted to, but 31, 28. Can Bob get out of this? I mean, Jordan's got two faced out monsters. I mean, a debris into. But what does Bob have left in the graveyard? Okay, so Nalila. A 
attack into Raikou. Which one will Jordan go for, the back row or the Lila? So he chooses the Lila. Torrential, D Debris, Caius. How many cards are left in Bob's hand? He's got three. Yeah, it's not looking good for Bob. That, that Kaiku put in work. So did the Titanium. They both did. But it looked like Bob was in a good spot. Here comes another Avarice. Yeah, just slowly recycling the resources. And now he finally uses that Crow that he couldn't use earlier. Okay, so he has Bottomless, and Bob's got two cards. He's a 17. I think he's got Quick Draw Dandy. Oh, wow. This looks like it's over, depending on what Bob's back row is. And... Yeah, Drill Warrior. And that's game. So congrats to Jordan, getting the first win on the channel. Um, Bob is basically... I don't remember if Bob made top eight. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that duel. We'll be back soon for round four. Is it round four? Yeah, round four. Bye, guys.